Hey guys, this is the Primate Sanctuary here in uh, Palm Harbor, Florida. It's a place for uh, mostly primates that have been, uh, they were kept in captivity and then they were uh, given away because they have really, really long lives. And so we're gonna check it out. It looks pretty cool so far. So here we go. So it's actually kind of sad to me because I, uh, my personal beliefs are that an animal should have a huge amount of space. Now these are primates and they're, they're kind of like people and they should have, to me, at least one acre per animal at the very least. So to see them in this enclosure is really, really sad. Um, they can't be, they can't be taken back to the wild. So it's kind of really a sad situation. They're in these tiny little cages. They're really cool to see, but I don't know. I don't really like seeing them like that. I know they don't have anywhere else to go, so that's why they would put them in a place like this, but hopefully they could find something better for them. Uh, me personally, I would just put them back in the wild as close to where they were as possible. Um, the reason why they don't generally put them back in the wild is because of the genetics. Um, they crossbreed subspecies together in captivity and the only way to really be able to uh, be okay with sending an animal back out into the wild is uh, to not crossbreed them. So they would probably do a DNA before they released it too to make sure that they released it into the right area. And I guess the chimpanzee's name is the Pan. That's his uh, Latin name, I guess. Pan genus. Oh, there's a baboon. That's the largest monkey there and he's actually really large. So for me too, I'm, I am interested in like nanos and stuff like that, but to me I think certain animals are better left in the wild. Um, either that, if we're going to have them, they really need the space uh, for them to be happy. So that's the most important thing to me. I mean, because these are like, to me they're like people. And it's not the fault of the people who are trying to save them. They're just doing what they got to do for them so that they don't euthanize them. So anyways, this is a, if you can see it, there's a gopher tortoise. This is native to Florida in the southeastern United States. I've actually kept these before. I found them and then, then I released them again. And you're not supposed to do that, but I did. Um, I've kept uh, desert tortoises as well because I'm from California, uh, the Mojave Desert. So it's uh, kind of an unusual biotope for me. I went from an, one extreme to the other. I went from a true desert to, you know, three to five inches a year to almost a, a tropical rainforest here in Florida. And this is a solicata. It's an African spur tortoise. We've seen those in the last video at the Clearwater Aquarium. And this is a uh, capuchin. I believe I'm saying that right. There's two of them in here. Um, these are actually Amazon parrots. And I've been bitten by a baby one of these. And it wasn't very baby, she was a sub adult. And it bit me all the way down to the bone and it made me cry. So uh, it definitely brought tears to my eyes. I, Try not to be a wuss about it, but man, it sure hurt. So we raised these at a world of orchids too. And I had uh, four baby scarlet macaws that I took care of there. And um, I used to train them to fly to my arms. I used to take care of the chameleons and the poison arrow frogs and uh, marine toads. And they had a few other things in there. Oh, here's some bigger alligators. So, like I said, for sure this is Florida, we'd eventually cut run into some alligators. So, I promised you alligators, there they are. And they're pretty lazy. It's a nice warm day, it's been kind of cool lately, so they're kind of just enjoying the warm weather. Actually, I am too, it's, I was absolutely sick of the cold snap we had. 
I'm, uh, I'm from Southern California, so I'm not much of a cold weather person. I lived in Kansas for a little while and I didn't really much care for it. <laughs> Nothing against Kansas, they just don't like cold weather. So, there's some baby alligators. They're really little. Now, I used to have one as a, a pet, which I, I caught him, so. He was a little bigger than these guys. I caught him crossing the highway and he almost got hit by a car. And then I also caught a hatchling with my friend on a, a hula bopper. I don't know if you know anything about fishing, but it's a type of floating lure with little hooks on it, triple hooks. And we hooked him in the mouth and, and reeled him in. And, and there's Homo sapien. Say hi. <laughs> Just trying to be funny. Thank you, honey. And this is a crab eating macaque. So this is a coastal macaque. Um, for me, if I was going to keep a primate, a monkey, even if I owned a zoo, I'm not saying I wouldn't because I probably would eventually just get larger and larger ones if I had a zoo. But I would probably go with the smallest species, like the absolute tiniest primates, um, squirrel monkeys, things like that. Because you can keep them in smaller enclosures and they're easier to maintain. And you're, you're not really gonna hurt them. Capuchin. This is a capuchin. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. How do you say it? Capuchin? Capuchu? A capuchin? A capuchin. My pronunciation is really terrible. And he's just hanging out. I think he's waiting for him to spray his cage. They actually like that. Japanese macaque again and now we're kind of going back through again and this is a macaque so actually I guess the Japanese macaque is um, the ones you see that go into the I almost forgot they go into the hot springs um, and they actually fight over territory to who can get to sit in the hot water um, I've seen it and I thought that was really interesting. So um, this is kind of a strange place for them, but I guess they seem okay. So this is more of a, a cooler weather animal, a temperate. So um, it's kind of weird to see them here in Florida. It's really, really hot in this place. It's starting to cool down a little bit though, because cloud cover, but I'm just saying. The great apes. And the Solicata African Spur Tortoise is shoving his little house around. And I actually used to keep these myself, um, not the Spur Tortoise, but uh, Desert Tortoise in a similar setup. I would set up either bricks or I would set up, I've kept box turtles and everything else. Um, I would keep them in, in brick enclosures. Like you see how the bricks are just laying there. Now he's strong enough to push the bricks around. But a lot of species, they don't, they just go around. And even if they got out, it's, they were in my backyard. So, I mean, they had to get out again. So I just would put them back in. So this place is fairly pretty though, but it's, this is Florida. So everywhere you go in Florida, it's, it's always pretty. It's almost always a pretty day. It's, um, I don't know, it's strange. It's uh, one of the nicest places I've ever lived. And I'm from Southern California and I say that. Uh, this is a swamp milkweed. They're also very pretty. I, have, I just collected seeds from these uh, maybe a month or two ago.
So everybody's pretty lazy. Just lazing it up. It's a nice lazy day. It's my day off, so just enjoying myself. Say hi. See how they look? They look sad. I don't like that. And this is Cleo. Hi, Cleo. How are you? And she actually followed me over to the other side, so now I like her. And truthfully, I would take her home because I like her. And I hate seeing him in these kind of cages. Um, now in the wild, some of these species, uh, because they naturally overlay, they do integrate. I don't know if uh, the macaws are the same, um, but they, they do hybridize them in captivity. So these are species. It's, the scarlet macaw might be a hybrid, I think. And these are hybrids between the two. And this is a orangutan. He's super cool. Hi, Pongo. How are you? And he's holding his hand out. He probably was taught to shake. He has nails. Mom, look how big it, look at the top right. Look at look how big his nails is. He even has nails. Yeah. It looks like a human, but in a gorilla face. I know, isn't that crazy? And this is a spider monkey. He's super cute. Actually, we can do a little bit of feeding because I have food. Um, I gave them, this place is based on donations to help feed the animals. So I gave them some money a little bit. I'm not rich right now, so I gave them a little bit of money to help them. I wish I could give more, but I just don't have it right now. So they have these feeding tubes. And I'm not overly particular, so I'm just gonna give it all to him. And there he goes, he's coming down. And here he comes. What's that? So there's all kinds of goodies in there. There's pretzels and popcorn, uh, animal cracker cookies. It looks like cat or dog food. It looks like cat food to me. And the birds are ob obviously uh, trying to steal his food. And this is Blue, the spider monkey. And this is a baboon again. Now he's looking at the people over here. Now he's looking at me. Hello. So I think he's hoping for a handout. So we're going to get my handout. out. 
like I said, I'm not overly particular. I like the guy, so there you go. So they all appear to be healthy and they seem to take good care of him here. Um, he has a really ugly butt. <laughs> so they have chickens and goats over here. This is Luis, the goat I guess. One of them's Luis. That's gotta be Luis. And he doesn't like the chickens. Um, these look like might be pygmy goats. This is Christian. Oh, this is Pee Wee. And now he's going to go to the other side. He's really cute, and he's actually pretty small. So anything this size or smaller, I might would be interested in keeping. But that's only because I have a lot of experience with animals. And um, I wouldn't even keep it probably in an indoor enclosure. I would keep it outside. Um, they fling feces, and they defecate, and they're very uh, active animals. And I, to, to be honest with you, even the size of this enclosure, and it's a double cage, I still feel like it's too small. I mean, they really, really require a lot of room and a lot of space. And there's just two of them in here. Say hi to you two. They let like super bored out of their minds. This is Christian and Cheeky. <whistles> Say hi, Christian. This is Nova. Smiley. Smiley is very social. And this is Alvin. Say hello to Say hello Alvin. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> I don't think he cares. And this is Sarge. Hey Sarge. And this is Cosmo. Hi Cosmo. How are you? So they have a way to get away from people at least. They can go into the back. So it reduces their stress. These are ringtail lemurs. And now I've always wanted to go to Madagascar and it's definitely on my to-do list. Um, I almost took a trip once and I'm determined to do so this time. So hopefully we can do YouTube videos all around the world. Going to different tropical ports of call and different cool places. All to see the plants and animals. So I'm hoping I have a few things I have to take care of. I'm hoping that I can do this and go around the entire world. And I'm a writer, so um, I'm just getting started, so I'm not like super successful, but I plan on being. So I just want to do this and get better cameras and travel around the world.
meet interesting people, interesting animals, cool plants. And I'm thinking about getting a sailboat. Oh, look at that. Super cute. <laughs> hey. Hey, you. He's like frozen in position. So these are double enclosures. They only have some of the ones in the front. And you can't go around to the back. But they have more... Uh, more monkeys and uh, primates in the backside too. Um, it might be due to in injuries or stress or they're just not really people, animals. Uh, some animals are like that. Uh, truth be told, I'm, a, I'm kind of like that too. People like me because I like animals, but sometimes I don't like people as much as I like animals. So <laughs> I like my space sometimes. So I do like people though. I just, I don't know, animals are easier. Now these ones don't have names, so I don't know what their names are. And that's the end of that. Okay. So, this is Jimmy's Flora and Fauna, and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you get a chance to come down to Palm Harbor and check out the Primate Sanctuary, I, I recommend it. Um, it's really cool. It's not very big, but uh, it's really interesting, and there's a lot of different animals here. So come down and check it out, and please subscribe. Thank you.